Hi there, we are Agent Slane Real Estate, Elizabeth and Brian, and today we want to talk about investment properties. What we look for in numbers and the four factors that we also look for um, outside of just the number area. So to delve right into it, Brian, please tell us what all this means. You please. Got it. Absolutely. So we're looking at this real world example of an investment property. Um, first thing you're gonna look at is price. This one's priced at $9.95. Um, and then the next thing just to talk about is down payment. If you did get a loan, 25% is the minimum on investment if, properties. If you don't live in it. If you don't live in it, yes. <laughs> non-owner non occupied, which we'd say, I'd say 75% of the investment right. properties we do are non-owner occupied. Right. Um, so 248, 750 is your 25% down. So let's look at income. That's always a critical piece to making uh, your assessment on the property. It's 5850 a month on this particular uh, property, which is a triplex, by the way, which is $70,200 a year in um, income. Next thing we're gonna look at is how much does it cost to actually operate the property? This is just a little over $18,000 to uh, run this property for a year. And that includes? That includes property tax, insurance, maintenance on the building, gardening, things like that. Okay. Okay. Um, that gives you your net operating income, which on this one is a little over $52,000 a year. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna get into are a couple of key indicators that investors look at to compare investment properties. First one is called the GRM, which stands for Gross Rent Multiplier. And basically this number is just taking your gross rent and dividing it back into the price that you paid for the property. So in this case, 995. That gives you 14.17 on this particular property. We look for something under 15 uh, in the LA market. This is a market specific. And basically that's saying that it would take 14.17 years to pay back the 995 that you put into the property based on the gross rent, okay? Cool. Reality is there are expenses, right. but this is just an easy way for you to compare how much rent you're getting for the price you're paying for a property. Got it. So Makes that's sense. gross rent multiplier. Yep. The more uh, detailed number, important number is the cap rate, and that takes into account your operating costs. And so you're looking at the net operating income of a property and dividing that by the price you paid for the property. So divide this by this gives you this, which is 5.2%. We look for things above 5% in the LA market. Um, most things are right, barely, well barely getting through. Yeah, <laughs> barely getting through. So that's basically the numbers, but there's a lot more to buy an investment property than just this. And Elizabeth's going to talk a little bit about what she looks at when she's looking at investment properties as well. Yeah. So it's not just about numbers, um, even though that's super important. That's number one priority. And then the four other things that we look at is location, location, location. It does not change whether you're buying a home for yourself or an investment property. You always want the best location, right? So that's number one. Number two is lot size for investment properties because in California, as you may know, the bigger the lot, the more you can do to it. So let's say that this in this particular income property is in mid city. It is a triplex. Um, it is available now. And um, if it has a garage, a detached garage, you can do an ADU plus a junior ADU because the lot is big enough. So the lots are really important. We look for that. Absolutely. Super, super important for our, our clients. And then obviously if it's tenant occupied, we need to make sure that the rents are decent enough so that you have a recent, a decent cap rate, right? right? Um, if ideally we want uh, units that are completely vacant because then we are able to get market rent. So those are the four things that we look for, um, including the, 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 the numbers that Brian went through. So if you have any questions about investing in the LA area, now definitely is the time to invest because of the interest rates and because the rents are super high. So reach out to us, we'll be more than happy to get into the details of these numbers, and even more that I didn't let Brian do more numbers because it was too much. Have a good day. Take care guys, thanks for tuning in.